Welcome back to sunny Thailand, guys. Good to be back. Today, we're going to look at the rising cost of living in Thailand generally. Uh, it has gone up a lot over the last 10, 11 years, like it does everywhere in the world. But, you know, I think some of these increases you need to know about and you know it isn't as cheap as it was i'm going to compare you know what i spent when i first came to thailand and like what i'm spending now in thailand and it has changed considerably over the years to be honest with you actually it's not that sunny to be honest it's bloody hot to be honest with you since i've been back it's absolutely gone off the scale it was 41 the other day in the truck i noticed the temperature gauge gone off the scale Man, check this guy out. I felt like this last week after the jet lag. And we had one mega storm last night, kicked off full on. Today we're gonna, oh, look at my banana plant. It's pretty good though, it's pretty cool. Today we're gonna talk about the cost of living, how it's increased since I've been in Thailand, you know, over the years. I mean, it really has gone up a lot. A lot of people don't think about this when you come to Thailand, but you know, over the years since being here, you know, when I first came here, it was, you know, I really didn't spend that much money. It was quite cheap to live, to be honest with you. And as you stay here longer and longer, it gets like more and more expensive. And I'll tell you the reasons why now. One of the major reasons why, you know, it is getting more and more expensive is, you know, my cost of living's gone up is, you know, I ended up, you know, meeting my wife is if you watch some of my videos, you'll know, you know, I met my wife and then, you know, we had a kid and she already had a stepson already. So, you know, so now basically I've got two kids. Uh, living in Thailand, which is a hell of a lot different, you know, than living here with, uh, on my own as a single guy. You know, when I first came to Thailand, I was spending, you know, anything from about, you know, 30,000 baht was kind of enough for me. I'll put the dollars down on the screen here. And I was kind of living on that when I first came over to Thailand. And then since then, it's gone up immeasurably, to be honest with you. I mean, spending 30,000 baht a month now would be a joke. Something to think about if you're coming to Thailand, you know, when you first come here, you will spend less. And then it kind of just gradually kind of creeps up over the years. As you get more things, you kind of get into normal life here. I think a lot of people think, oh, I can spend this money and then this money will last me. But you'll, you'll find as you live here longer and longer, uh, you know, you'll end up spending more and more money. You'll you'll want some of your home comforts from home. So you start splashing out on more Western food and other things when you're here. A lot of people don't think about getting a car when you first come in. You think, oh, I use public transport. But, you know, the longer you live here, the more you want a car, the more you want your own house. You know, no, you kind of want normal life as you would have back in where you were in the States, in you know, the UK. That's what I felt like when I first came here. I was like, oh, I use public transport everywhere. Never mind, it's fine, buses and everything. And it was okay for a year or two. And then I was, God, I'm bored of buses. I can do my head in. It's like, you know, I want a motorbike, I want to. And then it went from a motorbike to like, now where I've got a car and, you know, I, I use the motorbike less and less, to be honest with you. Uh, as I get a little bit older and just, you know, want things a bit more comfy. And, you know, I've pretty much been in houses now for the last, six years now i've lived in houses before i was in a you know apartments and condos when i first came to thailand as a single guy but as soon as i met my wife we were like oh you know we don't really want to live in a we lived in a condo for a little bit with Pupa, my oldest kind of stepson now i was 12 uh, we lived with you know inside a condo but it was a bit rough to be honest with that first eight months together because we're like, living in quite a small condo me and my missus and before i was married me and my missus in a pool bar, you know so it was a bit tricky. He was quite young at the time. He was only about five. He was about five years old at the time. So he was quite young. Another thing I think a lot of people don't think about when you have kids over in Thailand is, you know, the school fees. The school fees get, they're, they're a bit scary, to be honest with you. I mean, yeah, you can go in the government schools for like a, you know, next to nothing if you want. And then, you know, the prices go up exponentially from, you know, from the, the government schools to like private schools, to bilingual schools, to, you know, lower tier international schools, to you like your middle tier internationals and then like your top tier internationals, which are just, you know, you pretty much have to be loaded to send your kids to top international school or work in the school and, you know, have some kind of package with the school. That's why in, in, in the past, you know, I've discussed with my wife, you know, did, we did contemplate at some point, you know, Oh, maybe, you know, maybe we'll go back to the UK, eh? you know, but we're kind of at the mindset at the moment now where we've changed a little bit. We're kind of like, you know, quite happy where our kids are going to school at the moment. It's not perfect, but, you know, it's OK. It, it, they're not too bad. You know, the school, the education there seems quite 
okay for now to be honest with you quite good actually Popeye's in quite a good school now so it's a government school but it's a pretty good school at the moment so we're quite happy about you know and he, he's in there for the next three years now uh with my youngest lad i mean he's still only kindergarten like higher level kindergarten so he's just at the local school here so hopefully he'll be fine maybe something we have to sacrifice a little bit with my lads you know living in thailand you know maybe the education well it won't be as good as it would be in england that that's inevitable you know i just can't afford that kind of crazy international education for my kids i'd have to give up my whole life here and go back to england which would be very very tricky for me to be honest with you because i built a whole life out in thailand now my wife works out here i wouldn't want to you know I wouldn't want to, you know, rip her out of her job and, you know, trying to her to find work in the UK. It might, it might be a bit tricky, you know. I think it'd be tricky for anybody, myself too, if I wanted to go back to work in the UK. Or I probably would have to work if I went back to the UK. I wouldn't have enough money because it is expensive living in the UK. As you've seen from another one of my videos, you know, the price in the UK for, you know, properties and everything in the UK is just a bit off the scale at the moment. It's really crazy. Check out another video I've done on it. It's quite interesting because uh, I've just been back in Birmingham and uh, in Stoke on Trent and you know the, the prices of things are really gone up significantly so what am I spending now you're asking the question aren't you well when I first came to Thailand in 2012 you know I, I was spending probably about 30,000 baht a month to 35,000 baht a month and, and now as a family you know we're probably spending anything from you know, 70,000 probably collectively together with my wife, maybe 70 to 80,000 together, kind of. So we are spending quite a bit more as a combined income. I mean, sometimes we spend a bit more than that, sometimes a bit less. Uh, it just depends really what's going on in our lives at this particular time. Okay, guys, I hope that helps you out a bit today. Uh, this is uh, the lovely Wai Hin. If you've not been there, it's a great place. Check it out. And this one's Chai and Forest Park as well. Lovely place, this one. All right, guys, until next time, we'll catch you later.